Hey folks, back with another M4 MacBook Air 999 base model. This time we're checking out Dota 2. So as I said before, there's a lot of Dota 2 issues with Mac OS. I did find that this particular fix helped at least on the M1 Max, and I use it as well in the M4, is that not using cloud saves and deleting your cloud saves could help with some issues. I think perhaps that having a Windows version or playing on Windows a lot uh, maybe causes some issues when playing on the Mac later on. So with that being said, you could go and navigate to this folder structure, which is user data applications. It's a hidden folder. So to see hidden folders, you'll do command shift and the period button. You could also look this up online, but the 571 is the Dota 2 app. You could rename that folder if you have already done it and make sure to turn off cloud saves. Now, with that being said, there are some things that I've never explained, such as you need to kind of change. If you like using the command as the hotkeys, you'll need to configure it so command queue doesn't close and make sure that once you have the cloud save not set up, you have to kind of configure this to Mac. So playing one handed here, maybe you can see in the bottom right corner, I'm holding my kid. Um, but I still wanted to showcase kind of some of the issues, at least with the M4 settings. Um, I did retest on the M1 Max, but I haven't made a video on it. But here in the M4 settings, we are recording with QuickTime. I will say that from my testing methodology, I think that perhaps the limited CPU and multi-core along with the dedicated graphics, um, less cores than let's say the M4 Pro or the M1 Max, the devices I currently have, do lead to perhaps some issues here. Um, I could even tell just by clicking up those talent trees in Windows, if I click fast, there's already some delay. And as you'll see in this video, there's a lot of kind of exa exaggerated Mac OS issues that I pointed out in other videos, clicking through random, you know, right there, the camera, why, I'm not even sure why the camera is moving. It's not even like close to the edge. Sometimes the camera doesn't even pan. Um, maybe later in the video, I do talk about, um, and maybe <laughs> as I'm like, what I'm re-recording audio over, um, like here, it just happened a lot where just things were buggy. This is even in demo mode. If this was in a real game, I'd kind of be stressed out and kind of wouldn't want to play. Um, here I showcase, you know, sometimes when you double click, it just select all units or even drag clicking is what I do. Even drag click to select my real hero is kind of my muscle memory. With Mac OS, there's a lot of issues with that. Um, so I think some of these settings, in, if you have, if you get this device, I, well, one, if you're a streamer, you can't really do OBS or QuickTime recording. Two, I think you should go into lower settings, perhaps helps a little bit. But here you can see like, it wasn't updating the graphics to where time zone was. Um, that's, I'm just having a hard time like actually clicking where time zone is or would be. Um, the better part about this, at least compared to if you tried to run Mac, in my previous video I talked about using crossovers to run the Windows version on Mac, um, there isn't any like stutter or shader compilation which leads to micro stutter um, when you run the Mac OS native version, but you do run into these issues where you have like click through problems, um, you know, camera pan issues. Uh, so. Take this test with a grain of salt. I am using QuickTime in this, and later down in this video, I turn off QuickTime and just rely on the iPhone to showcase some of the problems that still exist. Um, but really, it's just some like input lags, missing clicks, stuff like that happens. Um, where, you know, like right there, why did the hero thing appear up? I, I think there's just some ghost clicks or some random things happening that I'm not exactly sure, at, at least with the M4. MacBook Air that I'm seeing. This has 16 gigabytes RAM. On the M1 Max, on that video, I don't recall like any crazy clicks like this or there still were some camera pan issues, but obviously um, some people want to use this device as a lightweight device to do some casual gaming. And if Dota 2 is one of those games you play, I think you'll run into kind of a disappointing gaming experience um, in general running with Mac and especially on this device, as I think that perhaps the limited Co graphics cores kind of hurt the performance here. And I will say that from a visual perspective, you could run it at max and you could also, um, you know, get decent frames. When you turn off QuickTime recording, you get over hundred frames per second at the uh, resolution that I'm playing at, which is desktop friendly. So it's not retina, it's kind of half the retina so that you can all tap easily. Um, here, just testing like, you know, what it would look like, you know, playing the game 
Um, I would say that one of the reasons I, ha I always bring up, you know, clicking through or stuff like that, and all these random clicks are happening, is that if you play like Nature's Prophet or Chen or any hero where you need to micro, you'll have a bad time in my opinion. I play Arc Warden, um, so there's a lot of times where maybe if I get Manta on Arc Warden, even like, you know, if you're not micro that much, but you, even by Manta, you'll get illusions, you have to control each one, it's just this right drag thing. Like even here, I can't even like really select Dro. Um, and so I know it's like in this thing, not all the times you're, you know, controlling enemies, but you, if you play Lone Druid, just any hero where you need to micro or if you get Manta, like stuff like that, it's just, just the clicking through and the delay is just not a fun experience, at least compared to a Windows device, in my opinion. Um, so here, what I would recommend if you get this device is to kind of turn the settings down. I think that helps perhaps with the CPU graphics co uh, core load. Um, and here, finally, I turn off QuickTime recording. So everything else here will be showcased from here on out in this video without uh, QuickTime recording taking up resources. But um, you can see here, I can't even pan the camera anymore. It just kind of stalls out or freezes a bit. Um, and I do think that perhaps this could be due to the quarters quick uh, quick note here. So you could turn this off by going to your system settings, typing in hot corners, um, and then uh, you could turn it off. Now, perhaps you notice here when I do hot corners, nothing comes up. I was thinking that perhaps there's some thermal throttling going on with the M4 MacBook Air. I didn't notice anything hot to the touch particularly. Um, but, you know, I was surprised that when you, when I typed hot corners, didn't actually like bring it up instant, instantly. Um, so there is another thing I want to point out that it's like very obvious coming up soon when I, it's when I die after this, um, is that from a like playability standpoint, in my opinion, when you're testing games, it's not just about like what's the FPS, but what's the overall gaming experience. And I've talked about this a lot in Mac OS is that it's just, if you're used to some stuff in Windows, it's not the same here. You can see, I, if you kind of go back and look, I ended up doing the frost arrows the wrong way. If you go back in the video, my mouse cursor was clicking towards the faceless void heroes. So I'm not exactly sure what was up with that. Uh, it just didn't register that my mouse was clicking. And I've seen this in my M1 Max videos is that sometimes when doing this kind of uh, like, I don't know if you're doing like, I don't know what they call it when you do power shot and it like animates the green stuff where you're about to hit. Sometimes it doesn't animate right. And I think I was Lena trying to do my light strike, the stun, and the AOE thing just wasn't animating. So I wasn't sure if like it was going to do where it was animating or where my mouse was. Um, so it's just another thing with the Mac OS version of this game that I think Steam needs to update and give some love. Um, so yeah, long ramble of Dota 2. This is my main game I play, but... I would say maybe if you're like a casual turbo player or maybe you want to test out crossovers, it could work, but um, I'll do a later video where I'll test it out. Actually, with the 256 gigabytes of RAM, I had League of Legends, World of Warcraft, and Dota 2, and my, my memory was maxing out. I had to delete like Word and some apps that I'd use for productivity. So just something to consider. Um, this is, of course, the base model. There is another version that was in the MacBook Pro, which had more, I think it has one more graphics core. Um, but if you get this base model, I think it's a good device in general for, you know, productivity, teams, office, stuff of that nature. And some games run well. I would say you could play Dota 2, but um, probably just play Turbo so you don't get mad or lose some ranking. So anyways, that's my take. Let me know what your thoughts in the comment. I got another request to play Hearthstone. I got to uninstall some games to do that. But um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.